Okay, so here's your magazine. That means you've got a clean page. Here's your plate. It's all been cut, all right? This is your ink. Now, ink comes in these, and it comes in little squeeze tubes, like toothpaste tubes. Only they're bigger. And <clears throat> I didn't grab a... Okay, so your palette knife, you're just going to reach in here with this. Now, this is not going to take a ton of ink, okay? About that much will do you. And we'll do this in just a second. All right, the first thing you're going to do is run it across the top. Now, this uh, inking a plate and getting it printed is the most impossibly dirty thing you can do. I mean, because this is a mess. Um, and we're trying to make it impossibly clean. Okay, so watch where your fingers are because anything you touch is going to end up black. Okay. Now this is a little bit of, this tube of stuff is um, drying retardant, which is going to help it so it lasts a little bit longer. You don't have to have it, but it does help. I need a little more ink on there. All right, and we just mix it in. When you're doing this on the, when you're rolling this on the plate, make sure it's getting nice and smooth. Once again, don't go clear up to the edges. You won't have anything to hang on to. Okay, if you get clear up like, like I just did there, then you're gonna end up, end up with ink on your finger. The whole point of getting the plate really, really smooth and even, if the ink on here is really nice and smooth, and can you hear that noise? It's making that sticky noise. That's perfect. Okay, you want it to do that so that it's the ink is is really nice and smooth. It'll go on better. All right, so I've got the ink on. Now I'm going to come back here, and you'll have a little more room at your station here. And I've got my magazine out here, and I'm going to ink. All right, now the goal is to just ink this as neatly as possible. Now, the ink's, the ink's gonna get on your magazine. That's the point of the magazine. And you want a really nice, even coat. Now, some of us have our uh, plate is a little bit bowed. That's a, not a problem, just, you just have to work through it, okay? Just work, you know, do it with the best you can here. You don't want thick ink on it. Now, when you do this, if all of, if a bunch of your lines have filled in and you can't see them anymore, don't panic yet, because um, they might not print. But you might have to come back in and cut some more. So sometimes that happens. When you're finished there, getting this inked, put this back on the plate. Make sure the handle isn't dragging through this ink for obvious reasons. Okay. Then you're going to grab some white paper now. This paper's been sitting in a bag with a little bit of water in it to make it just slightly, slightly moist, okay? And that really does help the, the ink stick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my next page in my, uh, in my magazine so that I can keep it clean. I'll have some paper up on the table. So we'll have this damp paper, it'll be a plastic bag, so that's, so make sure, you know, pull out a couple of sheets before you start. Then you're gonna lay this on as straight as you can make it, okay? You've got one shot. Once it's down, don't try to move it. Then put another piece of paper, just clean paper. It can be that yellow card, or that yellow uh, newsprint up front. That's just to keep this clean, okay? We don't want any ink on, on our papers or on this brayer. And all this is, is a brayer that has a nylon coating on it. Be kind of careful not to get it dirty. I mean, they've been dirty and they will wash, but it's not easy to wash them. Okay. And you're going to come in here and I have two kinds of students that do this. I have students that go, oh, we're just doing this. And that doesn't put enough pressure to do anything. And then I have students that push so hard that they move their whole paper. So somewhere in the middle of that, you just need firm pressure, not hard pressure. Um, and you're just going to go around the whole plate. You can kind of feel it under there. Make sure you get the corners. And then 
this is where it gets exciting. You pull this off and that's just our clean slip sheet. And then you're gonna pull this whole piece off like you're pulling off a Band-Aid all at once. If you do it halfway and you wait, you're gonna end up a weird, with a weird ink line. So kind of try to do it all at once. Do, 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 do. That's not a bad print. Ta-da! That's a good print. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I've got a couple little goobers I'm not super happy about, but it's not a big deal. See that little dot right there? That has a little tiny dot in the middle? Guess what that is? That is a little... I don't bet I can feel it. Just a minute, if I can see if I can figure out where it is. Oh, maybe it's gone now. Usually you can feel them. Um, yeah, ah, there it is. Okay, it's a little piece of grit that got on your plate, and what it does is it makes a little high point, and then the ink won't stick right there. So if you end up with, so before you, you know, do this, run your hand over it for any grit or little shavings or whatever that got stuck on there. Okay, and that'll keep you from having very many of those. Now, if you've got a couple little places where it didn't stick, <clears throat> that's okay. This is a hand-pulled print. You're going to get a few things like that. Um, do How many do you think it's going to take to get a decent one? Yeah, two, three. Okay. Um, I like it if you do at least two, hopefully three, because then what we do is you get to keep one and I get to keep one. Because I put them out in the hall, and then when we're done with them out in the hall, I give them to Miss Tolbert, and her kids um, in her writing class write, uh, write poems about them. Okay? So if you get a good one, they'll write you a poem about it. All right, questions on how to do this? I'm going to shut this off.